Hi, I'm Glenn. This is Dave. We're NC Beer Guys. We promote NC Craft Beer online at ncbeerguys.com. Today, we're returning to something you might think you know, but you don't know this one. Nope. We are today drinking the new uh, the Hot Seraptor, which is this year a triple IPA out of the Unknown Brewing Company, of course, out of Main Street in Charlotte. And a few weeks ago, Unknown released their Vihopsoraptor. I was going to say Vihopsoraptor. <laughs> and of course, it's the third time that they have released this beer. But the first two times, it was a 90. No, the first, this is the first time they've done it at 90 IBU. Before it was at 70 IBUs, and they only built it as a double yeah. IPA. Yeah, now it's triple. That's right. So they bumped it up, and they said this is one of their most popular beers, seasonal, of course. And it's well balanced and bold, they say, by report. So like I said, the first two releases were double IPAs and rated at 70 IPUs. This one is at 90 and promises insane drinkability. And Brad says, quote, at the unknown, we tend to come up with our beer names before we come up with our recipes. <laughs> when we thought of the name Vahopsoraptor, it just made sense for us to try to harness the power of the Velopsoraptor, a crazy beast, by adding as many hops as we wanted to make our own type of smooth tasting beast in a triple IPA. Oh, I didn't, uh, didn't equate that well. At the Unknown Brewing Company, we are more than just a name. A name does not mean you make just good beer, and good beer does not have to have a name. Our job is to stand out. We are open road, no destination. We're the first kiss or your last time jumping out of an airplane, or whatever your wildest adventure is. We are the Unknown. So, if you need to have a name, make one up. If you make one up, we prefer you call something the Adventure, or America, or Dragons, or something epic. Or whatever Brad wants it to be. That's what whatever Brad wants it to be. So unknown's all about stepping into the unknown. They do great things and they're always great about some of us we ought to try. Yeah, I kinda of, I messed up. You got a good you have a great uh, mine looks look good. at the head. Mine's, that, mine's great. That is a rock solid head on that. Look at that. I'm good. You didn't get such a great pull. No, I didn't. <laughs> well, I was making sure that you got a good pull. Thank you. Appreciate it. <laughs> Not the wrong one, but it, it, not it's, it's, hops in the wrong no, one. No, well, it's very, well, honestly, it's almost like a rich citrusy, because I couldn't tell you that it's going to be grapefruit mm -hmm. or orange. It's just a compilation. That resin is coming out. Yeah. Like, you know it's there. Mm. And, of course, we haven't drank the, the hop syrup since last year, so it's right. hard to remember what it was like in comparison, uh, but this is the triple version, as we've said. It's a triple. Seven and, honestly, so, you know, when they say the IBUs are up to 90, that's relative to how well it's balanced. Honestly, that's I mean, right. it's that, that's I mean, right. that hops and things like that. It doesn't mean that at 90 or 100 or 110, it's going to be this super bitter mm -hmm. uh, IPA. It's just, it's it, they're totaling what they have in the hops that come with that. That's but right. it could be, let's see how well balanced it's going to be. And everybody's palate is different. And you don't know how you are going to receive not right. many IBUs like mm -hmm. Dave does or I do. And mm -hmm. everybody's got different sensitivities to IBUs. That's right. And plus it's in... But it is. IPA glass. That's right. But beautiful beer. Beautiful yep. beer. And my point exactly. Yeah, this is <laughs> sweet it's, it, and nice. And the citrus comes through. Right. But it's got, it still has a little malt. But not the, bitter, not the bitter. But it is all. not bitter. Mm. Now, don't get me wrong, it's hoppy. It's, yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. There's plenty of hops. The, you know, it's got plenty of hops, and you know, you do have a slight hop bitterness on the back end mm -hmm. that that lingers a little bit, but it's not. It, it's very it actually, it's very enjoyable. You know, you're drinking um, IPA. Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. But it is very well balanced. Yeah, and what, what what's the uh, nine point nine percent? So it's almost a ten. So it's kind of for this kind of a flavor, it's kind of dangerous. Yeah, oh, and like, yeah, oh, really? a lot of IPAs, you know, are not substantial on their ABV. But at this, you know, just kind of uh, mm. pace yourself with these. This is wonderful. And I mean, since I'm not a hop head, hop monster, mm -hmm. um, I'm really enjoying this. This is great. This is very good. I was trying to see mm. how long it had been out Shouldn't to be. give you some kind of variable on whether you might be able to find it still or not. Um, it's got the press I just posted this press release. So how about the press this past week? Yeah, it's not. It's just a couple weeks out. There's no date on this. Okay. Oh, October third. Okay. But that was when so, the press release came out. So maybe it's been out a month. The event was actually after that. Right. So it probably wasn't released in the tap room until a little bit after it that. It was uh, unleashes its 
latest ferociously tasty the hops are after oh, man, it's been a while uh, on October 7th mm -hmm. so we're at a month but you're still gonna well, find it you may not find it on draft if it hit big no I know this. the press release was something else this week never mind no you know that press release is a little, little low for it's you low. Uh, but for sure if you see the unknown it'll be a lot of rats on it'll, the bottle Pick it up, give it a try, yep. and don't think you've had it before no. because it's not last year's beer. That's right. And if it is last year's beer, don't drink it. No, if it's last year's, <laughs> if it's last year's IPA, you don't think you want it. Make sure you're buying the uh, triple version. Mm -hmm. It says right there, triple IPA. That's right. For David Glenn, the Cincy Beer Guys, reminding you to drink local mm -hmm. and keep your beer dollars in North Carolina.